Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laurel Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about version control system using Git in Android Studio. Do you use Git from Terminal more? Then you'll be missing out from the inbuilt functionality of Git in Android Studio, which is going to increase your productivity time. Are you tired of issuing the git push pull command often from your terminal? Let's dive into some useful shortcuts of Git using Android Studio. If you're new to GitHub, visit the github.com and register for an account. If you have an account already, let's shoot. Download Git from this link you're seeing right there on your screen and install it in your system if you are using Linux, Windows or Mac. Open up your terminal to check if Git is installed. We have Git version 2.7.4. Make sure you are running latest versions of Android Studio 2.1 upwards with internet connectivity. Let's set up a new project in Android Studio. Let's call it version system. You can sign up and verify your GitHub credentials through Android Studio as well. That means you can create a new GitHub account from Android Studio. Let's check it out after the full build of this application. Let's move to the file settings and GitHub. Over here, the version control. Get up. In here, you have the host, your login, and password. You can test for your authentication, or you can sign up for a new account. I have my own credentials locked in here, so I can easily test authentication. Connection successful and click OK to make that verified. To create a repository and share your source code to the created repository, you click on the VCS standing for Version Control System. Import into Version Control and you share your project on GitHub. Click on that and wait for a few seconds. You have the new repository name, the remote name, and some description. Let's maintain that as version system, and we click on share. We have this light dialog that shows all our project tree. And in the commit message, you can decide to Enter yours, but initial commit can be OK. You click on OK to have your first commit on this project, which is actually going to create a remote copy in GitHub. You have this notification, successfully shared project on GitHub. That means you have done that correctly. Click the cancel so you can Move further to other Git commits in Android Studio. To confirm that this is my repositories, I'll refresh. Can we find the version control system? Now logged in into my repositories. Back to Android Studio. 
we've learned how to do our first commit but you can decide to still make some commits while working on your source code for example so wait let me just issue out a method public void let's say settings just a mere method and we need that committed to a copy on github on this commit changes small arrow icon you click on this you can decide to give a new commit message like second commit this time you commit and push your code as well push one file committed and the second commit push successful push successful that's fine you have that done so you can easily commit changes to your application in the remote copy in github now let's learn how to clone a git repository from android studio we get to move to the file new we move to project but you just must have your link before you can clone from an external repository so let's get that first back to git let me decide to clone one of my projects baking recipe I copy that come over here file new project from the version control git up now I lock in the URL which is the baking recipe the parent directory where it's going to save it to and the direct the directory name let's um, maintain baking recipe and um, or let me just change this name so that I won't have a duplicate copy let me call it Resi click on clone I can easily have that clone into that directory let me open it right there in the new window Can you see that cloned out and I have that opened in Android Studio. So you can easily clone repos repository from GitHub. Let's talk about branches. What by the essence of a branch is to have a copy a portion of your code worked on separately without interfering with the master code you can create a new branch from the bottom of Android Studio that is for let's click on remind me later look closely to this bottom you can easily find the git master because you're running on the master a click here gives you the access to create a new branch and just click no for here it's building the other projects to check out the tag of revision but we're focusing presently on the new branch let's create a new branch uh, let's call it since we have the version system 
call it vision. Branch. If you notice, we are presently on the version system branch. We can have the master here and the master as a remote. So you can decide to check out, to toggle to the master. You click here and you click on check, check out. Once you click on check out, you have the master back. So you're working on two different application, cloned application. You can decide to check out the master and come back to the version system branch. So let's me try to probably duplicate this in the version system branch because I want to work on a copy of this application and still keep the branch, still keep the master and call that setting. Let me call this work on. Fine. You can commit to the version system branch by clicking on this. I'm going to write branch commit and push but the previous copy is still present with the master branch push successfully so I can easily test this to be sure it's working before I merge down to the master for production so you can have multiple branches of your source code working different portion of the code and merging for to make one production copy. For you to do that, you come over to the remote branches. You click on merge. That's already up to date. Now we need to merge the master to the version system branch. Already up to date. That means uh, the merge, the sync actually happened immediately. Let's create some layout files in the version system branch. Creates that fragments. There is a dialogue asking, Do you want to add the following file to Git, which is right on the version system? You can decide to say no and uh, push later manually. Let's create one more. Settings. Same thing. So we, let's push manually. We'll call this the second commit of branch. Branch con commit. So we commit and push. Let's take a dive to my repositories and uh, click on the version system. We have to commit already and uh, it's even fetching the latest commit and two branches. Let's get to check them out. The master, the version system branch, which was just updated with the master. So you can see the two branches. So you can decide to click on the version system branch. So you notice here, get to have the branch, version system branch. 
you can easily have the other one too, which is the master. So let's go back to Android Studio. And uh, you can match the two branches from Git. Go to the VCS Git. Click on Pool. You have the Git root, the current branch, which is the version system branch, and it's remote. The branches to merge. You can click the origin master and the system, the version system branch, and you pull to actually pull changes from the origin and merge it right there. Can you see? Push successful, pushed one commit to the origin, which is the version system branch. So I have that merged together. So this are just the uh, bits you have uh, out of the box in Android Studio when it comes to using Git, which is the fastest and the best version control system. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. I believe and I hope you learned one or two things. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that. And as well, I'll be there to answer any of your queries consigning uh, Git and Android development. Thank you guys for hanging out with me once more. Have a lovely time. Bye-bye.